today our hard-working 11th grades. Are you ready for English lesson? As I said, we have revision lesson. Important first, we have to revise past tenses today. The first warm-up activity, TV firsts. Do you know who is the father of TV? Or who is the inventor of TV? Or the first person to appear on TV? First TV chef. You don't know? Let's learn together. I hope you like it because it's very interesting information about TV firsts. A. The first person to appear on TV was William Tainton, a young Englishman who worked with Scottish inventor John Logie Baird, the inventor of television. B. Many people call Vladimir Zwarikin, a Russian who went to live in the United States in 1919, the father of television. He invented the first electronic TV in 1929. C. In 1936, the BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation, made its first TV programs. Not many people watched them, as not many people had a TV. D. Cookery programs were popular even in the 1930s. Frenchman Marcel Boulestin became the first TV chef in 1937. Thank you. Did you pay attention to the data of the listening task? Let's check in that case. Please, try to fill in gaps. Let's read together. The first person to appear on TV was William Tainton, a young nationality of this person, Englishman, who worked with Scottish inventor John Logie Baird, the inventor of television. Many people call Vladimir a Russian who went to live in the United States in 1919, the father of television. He invented the first electronic TV in 1929. See, in 1936, the BBC made its first TV programs. Not many people watched them as not many people had a TV. The last one. Cookery programs were popular in the 1930s. Frenchman Marcel Bulstein became the first TV chef in 1937. Again, I have listening tasks. You have to listen and answer the questions. Are you ready? Please open your notebook. Try to write your answers as fast as possible. A. When's your birthday? B. What time does this lesson finish? C. What time did it start? D. Which month does it usually start to get hot in your country? E. In which year were you born? Thank you, dears. Did you write your answers? Very good. Now I have questions, but some of them are in present tense, some of them are in past tense. Your task, you have to find out which questions are in past tense. Thank you. C. What time did it start? What time did our lesson start? A few minutes ago, of course, and the next past simple question. In which year were you born? Very good. We have to revise past tenses today. Pay attention. Past simple structure. The, for affirmative sentence, subject plus verb to, like Thomas Edison worked as a paper boy when he was 16. Subject, Thomas Edison. Verb to, worked. We have regular, irregular verbs. For regular verbs, we easily add ed, 
for irregular verbs, you have to learn because we don't have any rule for them. For negative sentence subject plus did not plus verb one, because we cannot use two past tenses in one sentence. Here we use did, that's why we have to use verb one, not verb two, like Thomas Edison did not work as a journalist when he was 16. Did not work it. We cannot use this one. Did not work. And then interrogative sentence structure did plus subject plus verb one. Again, uh, we don't have to use verb two here because we use did. Did Tom Edison work as a paper boy when he was 16? So, dears, it is time to practice. I have an exercise, your task, to fill in gaps by using the words in the box. Words B, you have to use B twice, and begin by come, cost, last, and may. Please open your notebook and put eight numbers. You have to write just answers, not all sentences, because we have to save our time. The first, try to predict what word is suitable for each gap? I give you just five seconds. Then we have listening task. You have to fill in gaps while you are listening. Are you ready? Five minutes is going. Thank you. Did you put eight numbers? Now listen and try to fill in gaps. A. The first TV soap opera began in 1947. Its name was A Woman to Remember. B. The first TV advert for a bull of a clock lasted just 20 seconds and it cost only $9 to make. C. Colored TV came to Europe in the 1960s. The first color TVs were very expensive, so not many people bought them. D. The Japanese company JVC made the world's first VHS video recorders in the mid-1970s. Thank you, dears. Let's check. The first, B. How we can use B in past simple? Was or were? What about begin? It is irregular web. Begin, began. The by, boat, come, came, cost, the same cost, lost, lost, make, made. Let's try to fill in gaps. First TV soap opera began in 1947. Its name was a woman to remember the first TV advert for a bull of a clock lasted just 20 seconds and it cost only $9 to make. Color TV came to Yevrap in the 1960s. The first color TVs were very expensive, so not many people bought them. The Japanese company GVC made the world's first VHS video recorders in the middle 1970s. Activity 6 on page 12. Please open your textbook on page 12. Here you can find out the text about Thomas Edison. And interesting facts, of course, I know you discussed it with your teacher. Let's revise it one more time. Your task, you have to scan the text and underline the past simple forms. Are you ready? Did you open your textbook? Well done. I give you one minute and 30 seconds.
your time is over. Are you ready? The answer key is here you are. The past forms was, were, it is past form of to be, got, the present form is get, followed, follow, became, the present form is become, work it, it is regular web, ed, work, work it, ask, ask it, continue, continued, try, tried, reply, replied, again, tried, tried, and replied, the last one is died. So, answer the questions about your reading task. What was Edison's first job? Very good. Paper boy. What did Edison answer when asked what makes genius? Genius is 99% perspiration and 1% inspiration. I really like this quote. Please try to understand the real moral of this quote after our lesson. How many inventions did he made in his life? More than 1,300. Can you imagine one person did more than 1,300 inventions in his life? The next activity. Look at the pictures and continue the sentence in past tense, of course. Pay attention to the picture. I don't want to go and see the film because last week he was watching the film because I went to the cinema last week. The second picture, yesterday, he was selling his ball. I don't need a football because I sold my ball. Pay attention to the third picture. Two years ago, he was in Paris. I know a lot about Paris because I went to Paris two years ago. Last night, I don't need to worry about my homework because I did it last night. The present continues. When do we use it? Actions happening in a certain time in the past. Example, at 9 o'clock last night, I was watching TV. I began watching TV before 9 o'clock and I finished it after 9 o'clock. Two actions in the progress at the same time. I was reading a book while you are watching TV. Background information in a story. Uh, you know, we use in the storytelling past simple and past continuous. The main actions with past simple, the background, past continuous. For example, it was raining, so Wendy decided to go to the cinema. Another example, it was raining hard when I came back to my home. This is the main action, came back to home. The background, it was raining hard. Here the activity, here you have to decide which one is incorrect, which one is correct. Let's do the first one together. About four years ago, I decided or was deciding to become a chef. In this activity, you have to use past continuous and past simple. Was deciding is incorrect, decided in, is correct. About four years ago, I decided to become a chef. Again, you have 15 seconds. Please put a numbers 2, 3, 4 and write your answers just 15 seconds. Thank you, dears. If you haven't finished it, don't worry. We will continue together. The second one. Gulnora had or was having a shower when someone knocked at the door. True answer was having a shower because it's background action. 
the main action someone knocked the door the third one the man argued or were arguing outside so i went to see uh, what was happening so i went to see what was happening which one is background which one is main action thank you so much the first one is background action like this two men were arguing the main action i went to see what was happening the first one we ate or were eating breakfast when a letter came through the letter box we were eating so dears it is time to your homework your first homework as usual make a list of the vocabulary which you have learned today the second make up your own sentence in past tenses and please send it to your teacher thank you for being with me please do not hesitate if you have any misunderstanding to contact your teacher they are always happy to help you thank you for your attention see you next time